Do you have the habit of removing hair, whether from the leg, growing, armpits, upper lip, or even you guy who uses the razor blade? Have you noticed that sometimes this specific region becomes dark or even gets hurt? I will teach you the correct way to do an epilation and a depilation so you won't cause blemishes and provoke the folliculitis. Also, this will help other people. Take advantage now by using your WhatsApp and send this video. Exactly! Don't forget to give it a thumbs up because this video is remarkably interesting. Share it. This will help, okay, to give an up to the channel. You who are already subscribed and yourself who are not subscribed yet, do it now. Why do blemishes occur after epilation? Epilation is when you use wax or pull the entire hair by using a tweezer. Unlike the depilation, which is when you shave either with a razor or cut the hair, you know, trimming it. Why does it happen when it's done? Simply by the fact that when you put wax on the skin, when pulling, blood comes to the surface. And the blood, it is accompanied by what? By the hemoglobin, which contain and transport iron, which in contact with the sun, with the heat, oxidizes. Then it shows a post-inflammatory blemish, which with the excess of heat will pigment the iron, which leaves that dark blemish. And through the inflammation of the skin, our melanocytes, which are the cells that produce melanin, what do they do? They produce a little bit more of it, in order to protect us, causing the dark blemish. And so, you don't blemish your skin after doing an epilation it's important that you know how to epilate okay also to prevent the folliculitis and the blemish too and despite you cannot visualize it when you pluck the hairs a little blood comes to the surface and it has the pigment also called hemosiderin, which is bound to hemoglobin and transport iron. Iron in contact with heat, with the sun, it oxidizes and turns into a blemish. And what else? The inflammatory process. You damage this region. Too much soon increases the inflammation. This also generates a blemish, folks. So that means, when you do the epilation, avoid the sun. When you do the epilation, let's say, in the region, in the lower limb, such as the legs, or even in the armpits, avoid friction. You just had an epilation and decided to put on a tight pants. You just had an inflammatory process. You keep on rubbing with those tight fitting pants. The temperature increased. It will pigment for sure. Therefore, you did the epilation, put on those light pants, you know, or a long skirt. This will make it much easier, facilitate. What's another important tip? Knowing how to epilate. Be it an epilation, depilation, shaving the hair, or even the use of the sewing line. I heard that using wax makes the skin saggy. Is that true? Hot wax, right? I agree. If the wax is too hot, if it stays on your skin for a long time and you don't know how to do it, this will certainly cause the sustaining fibers to loosen up. Understand? But that in case, do you do this every week? Because it's like this, it must be more frequent to cause the slackening. And the wax must be extremely hot also, then yes, will certainly damage it. It breaks the vessels, damages the skin, and over time ends up really leaving it flaccid. Oh, so you mean there is no problem if I use a lukewarm wax, do it the right way, won't my skin be flaccid? No, if you do it with lukewarm wax, you can rest easy. As well as for cold wax, folks, it's the same thing, the pool is the same. What you cannot do is apply elevated temperature to the skin, this damages it. Did you know that before doing the epilation or even before shaving, it is essential that you do the skin disinfection? Why this importance? To prevent the folliculitis. Folliculitis is a bacterium that takes advantage when your skin is all bruised. Despite that we can hardly visualize it, it gets in and causes that little ball that you know, okay? Which is full of pus. It can be here in the armpits, here in the beard, or here sometimes you shave, right? Swipe the razor, see? I'm shaving, okay? And a man's beard is thick right? Then you scrape hard. What is going to happen? Trimming the hair, but then some hair happens to slightly twist. The twisted hair, it can get out, see? Some will come off, others will not, since it twists, creating the ingrown hair. In that case, what should be done to avoid this? An exfoliation 
twice a week will make it easier. Now, if you realize that this won't work, ideally get the tweezers right from the start, locate the hair and pull it off. Avoid the problem at the root cause, okay? Literally. And for you to avoid blemishes and folliculitis, first you will do the skin asepsis, meaning you make the use of soap, in this region where you're going to do the epilation or even if you're going to shave, okay? Continuing with the asepsis, you will now remove all the soap. In this case, do it with a completely wet washcloth. If you prefer, you can rinse with water, no problem at all. You are at home, you proceed the way it works best for you. And your professional who is performing in your clinic too, follow the same steps, okay? But with professional products and the right equipment. And now you are going to exfoliate, okay? The exfoliation will also help to eliminate all impurities, the dead cells, decrease the skin corneum layer a little, this is particularly good, even to avoid folliculitis and ingrown hairs. The skin will be softer, okay? Do the exfoliation and remove it also. You can rinse it off with water or with a very clean Moston towel. Did you remove it? Is it clean? Yes. Now you introduce the astringent. With this, we have finished the first step of the asepsis. Apply the astringent, okay? Dry the skin with paper or a very dry clean towel. And now you come in with some baby powder. Exactly, as you use products that have a lot of water, normally the hair is still a little wet and will not stick to the wax. Or maybe you are in a hurry, right? Oh, I'll do it in the morning, I'll do it in the afternoon. Arrived a little out of breath, sweaty, is perspiring. This excess sweat prevents the wax from sticking to the hair. So what are you going to do now? It can be either cornstarch, exactly, cornstarch or baby powder. Spread a little bit of it in the region, it will dry completely and now you enter with the wax of your choice. It can be hot wax, or it can be a cold wax. It's your choice. How is it done? Look, now you're going to put it on, warm up this region, and we'll pull against the hair. Let's say the hair is growing in this direction. How do you pull? Here, on the opposite way. Look, my little hairs are growing down here, downward. You put the wax on and pull it backwards, going up. The same is valid for the beard too. Is your hair growing downwards? What do you do? Shave it upwards. Do the depilation upwards. But be careful because there are some regions of our body where the hair deceives us. You say, oh, it's growing downwards, but sometimes it's growing sideways. If you put the wax oriented downward, it won't pull. You always must visualize and follow up the growth of this hair and always apply it in the opposite direction. By doing so, you will have an excellent result. Finishing doing this, what do you have to do? You must soothe that skin. The skin has suffered the rupture of the vessels, it has blood, it increased a little bit the inflammation, it is not much, it will get worse if you stay in the sun, don't do it. And the friction, also be careful. What are you going to do? Put the eyes on, okay? Could be in a thermal bag. In the event you don't have it, you get some ice cubes, put it inside a plastic bag and place it in the region. What is it going to do? A vessel constriction. Will this help? It will help, it will help a lot. Understand, doing vasoconstriction, it lowers the inflammation a little. Now, you who epilated your armpits, be careful now with products that contain alcohol or aluminum dioxide as a deodorant. In this region, as soon as you finish doing the epilation, do not use deodorant. It's dangerous, okay? It will blemish. Wait for a day. And you who did it on the body, don't apply body cream. There are some creams that contain a substance that is irritating. It will irritate your skin. Okay, did you put some ice? You did. And now, what do you do then? Apply a soothing lotion. Exactly. You make vasoconstriction lowered it a little, the soothing lotion will stay on your skin for longer and will provide a pleasant sensation, it will reduce inflammation and will leave your skin hydrated because it has several vitamins and will recover your skin. 
The only contraindication now is to go out into the sun and cause attrition to this region. Jeez, Patricia, how am I not going to use deodorant? Look at the smell that stays when I don't use it. I can't. What do I do? No, calm down. You cannot use products that contain alcohol and aluminum dioxide present in some deodorants, but you can indeed use milk of magnesia. Exactly. Shake it, shake it well, put a little bit in these regions, and that's great. If you prefer, even talk. Do you know baby powder, which smells like a baby, it's delicious, no problem at all. Milk of magnesia, you can keep using it for a while, okay? If you prefer, you can put a few drops of an essential oil of your choice inside it. It will smell super. If you always do it this way, you will always have well-groomed skin and there will be no blemishes. And you who usually do the epilation or even shave the region here on the face, okay? Especially the orbicularis region of the lips. And do what? Epilation with a sewing line or even you who tends to pull hair with tweezers, right? Lots of people, they grow some annoying hair then say, I'm going to pull off this little devil, it keeps growing here, it doesn't stop coming out, I don't know what else to do. The post light is great for you who really really want a result that goes on eliminating, eliminating until it stops. And remember to remove it well, okay? When finished rinsing, put just a little base, okay? Avoid leaving the foam from staying in this region. Rinse, 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 rinse it well. Apply the tonic, sunscreen and see? Wonderful! You will notice that some people have this region a little darker, folks. See? Share this video, help the person who has a problem. He, she will be grateful for this information. It is information which worth gold. Patricia, I don't have a product with a calming action. Look, doing during the day the use of a product that contains sunscreen, which is indispensable. What about you? How do you epilate or depilate? What kind of trick do you use? Leave it here in the comments. This will help other people too. Thank you so much for your care and big kiss. And if you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm always posting news about aesthetics and health. And also leave your comment. See you in the next video.